one of the very first experiments that I did in my doctorate it was involved ruthenium and so let me just show you my PhD thesis up here ruthenium is a metal that is somewhat like um, iron and it comes from ruthenia or was first discovered in ruthenia which is an area um, of Czech, what is now the Czech Republic and so it is another element that has its name from an area, a geographical location. So this is a sample of ruthenium sponge. So the ruthenium metal has been precipitated to form a very fine particles. So here we'll just open the box. And so I'm not going to show you all the um, <coughs> all my thesis because it would be boring. The ruthenium is a very, very reactive metal, especially when it's formed in this very fine sponge type material. The various wiggly lines on here tell me something about the structure of this molecule and I got really excited. You can imagine I was just finished my first degree at university and this was an element that was really kind of, I can still remember the orange colour. And this is because all of the gases in the air, particularly oxygen and hydrogen, adsorb to it and then participate in reactions like oxidation or reduction. So the ruthenium is very, very finely divided and if I tip it, you can see in the bottom of the vial, very fine powders. But again, because of the particle size, this is really dark, very black. Very nice sample of ruthenium, very useful for, for catalytic chemistry. This is my um, PhD thesis, that's my doctoral thesis, um, if you like, a summary of the work that I've done. And if you look up here behind me, you can see the, um, these black volumes up here yeah. are the ones which my students have done in years to come. There's two 2008 ones here at the end. And the reason for this is that in order to be a qualified chemist, just like when somebody's learning to fly an aeroplane, they have to do a bit of flying just by themselves to make sure they're safe before they fly an airliner. So in the same way that chemists, when they're learning to be professional chemists, once they've done their first degree, have to do some experiments themselves to discover new things just to make sure that they can handle things safely and really enjoy the excitement of the subject so they can then communicate it to others.